Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my Agenda 52 planner. This is the one I use for my script writing plan and I'm going to be doing uh, decorating for the week of September 16th through the 22nd and I'm going to just go ahead and get started with this Agenda 52 numbers and days foiled sticker book and um, I'm not going to change the days but I'm going to grab some numbers out of here. And I chose to use some that are foiled this time. Oh, these were kind of big. I think it'll be okay. I thought I had used this type before. So, I'm going to be doing this. And since I do my scripture writing plan in this planner, I do very minimal decorating because I don't need... Um, too much space taken up. I need it to be to where that I can write my plan down each day or my scripture down each day from my plan. And um, I make the plan every single month and I share it with you guys if you want it. It is on my link tree down in the description box. Um, the link tree is there and it will be on the very top of the link tree. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to have October's ready, but the day I am filming this is only 13th, so I've got time. It's not like I'm, I've am i got to be in a rush. So, so most likely I'll probably share it with you guys next week because next week I'll be um, decorating for the last full week of September. So, oh, let me go back here. I am using this book, the Homesteader Happy Planner book. I got it on clearance at Hobby Lobby, and I've used it several times. Actually, I used it this week. But I went ahead and wrote down the scriptures so that I could have these ready so I wouldn't have to worry about that. So the first one, these are pretty big stickers, but that's all right. The very first one is John 16, 33. And I say what the scriptures are each week, just in case some of you are following along and don't want to print out the plan, or you don't want to, um, you don't want to fool with having to uh, keep up with it for the whole month. So I do it every week, and that way maybe you have plenty of time to get your planner ready because these videos go out on Sundays. So John 20, 21 is the next one. I tried my best to get that straight and I still did not do it. Well, I don't guess it was my best, was it? Because if it was my best, I guess it would have been straight. I don't know, maybe it wouldn't have. Maybe my best isn't good enough sometimes. All right, Acts 10, 36 is the next one. You know, our best is all we can do, I guess. And then the next one is Acts 15, 33. And this scripture writing plan for September is peace, um, the subject of peace in the New Testament. And um, that's what we're writing this time. Acts 18, 19 is this one. Get it over that way as far as possible. 18, 9, not 19. Romans 2.10 is the next one. So that's 18.9. Acts 18.9. Romans 2.10. And then Romans 5.1 is the last one for this week. And then I'm going to just do a little bit of decorating. I don't do a lot of decorating, as I said, because I don't want to fill up my page with stickers, even though I like stickers. And then not have space to write my plan. Or write my script for each day. You know what I'm saying, I hope. Okay, so there's that. So I'm going to get some stickers out of here. Just some cute stickers. And this part, I do a grateful thought each week. I was always putting in like grateful or thankful or something like that but I haven't been doing that as much recently but this book does have some stickers that say grateful thing is they're clear 
so or not clear but you can see through them so I'm gonna have to wipe this out which is not a big deal that just has an issue um, then I'm gonna put this oh it actually says grateful thankful blessed on it so I'm gonna put that there and that's the reason why I use the gold foil is because there was a foil in that um, so I thought that would be cute to use the foiled stickers let me see I think I'll put in some of these flowers because there's flowers there and that way there will be some foil on this side as well we need to have foil on both sides and maybe one of these okay let's see what else I can do oh dropped it thought I had some more flowers that were different type of flowers they're more like these right here so I'm going to put this one I was going to put it right there but it's a little bit tall maybe I'll put this one in instead still a tiny bit tall but not as much. I'm trying to get this one back in spot. That's why I always tear the stuff off the side. Okay, maybe it's in good enough. Now I'm going to put in some other stickers. I'm going to put this one in because it's got the blue. And then there's blue down here, so, you know, kind of maybe balance. Plus it's round and round. I'm going to stick this one in right here. Just because I really wanted some of that kind of flower on that side. And I know this is over here, and all the rest of it is kind of in the middle. But then that one's up there, so it's kind of like... That'll be the two wonky things, even though this is not a day of the week. I hope that makes sense. Just not off balance, but not the same as the rest. I guess I'm going to have to put this up here, too. Because of the... Which I guess I could have put it over... That'll be fine. It's fine. It's all okay. And I'm trying to stick to the blues and then this color. That's the same thing. Maybe this one. If I can get it to come up. Okay. I'm going to do it like this. Okay. Now that being over there makes everything else look a little bit. Maybe I should just move this one down too that one's up there so I guess it kind of matched that so I'm gonna leave it up there like both of those are up top and then these are down but then there this is that's there and then this is here so I want to put something else over here to kind of balance the pages because this balances because of that's on that side
tape in this clay. I probably need a gold or something. I'm going to put a big one down here because I can and I should still have plenty of space to write. That's a little bit crooked. Now I could leave it that way and it'd be fine, but I'd rather not if I don't have to. Keep making it crooked. Okay, so I'll do that. That's all I'm going to do to it. So I'm going to put it back into the page or in the, the book. I hope I had that in frame the whole time because I didn't even look at the camera. So that's the way it's going to look this time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And if you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.